Hey guys. So I know you guys are anxiously waiting to see how much weight I lost on the protective diet for 30 days. So let's not make you wait any longer. I lost six pounds. I know a week ago I told you I lost eight. I gained two pounds. I was super disappointed. But then I realized why am I disappointed? I have a pair of jeans that I can't wear anymore because they're too big. I mean, I can wear them, but I'm always pulling them up. Um, so it's like, huh, how is it that you're, that's why I hate the scale. It does not measure fat loss. It does not measure things. And I noticed, I don't know about you guys, but if I eat like potato wedges the night before, I always weigh more the next day. And then the day after I weigh less. So I could do another video and weigh myself again tomorrow and we'll see where I'm at, but I'm not worried about it. Um, and also this month I didn't really exercise hardly at all. I mean, I walked here and there, but it wasn't consistent. I just wanted to get for, through my first 30 days of PD, you know, make sure I didn't have any, um, oh my gosh, I still can't, this is the second time making this video because I can't think of the word I want to find it, figure out, uh, you know, when you stop drinking coffee, like your headaches, you know, you start feeling grumpy and you start feeling uh, like side effects, but that's not what I want. Oh my gosh. Anyway, so I can't believe I can't think of this word. Okay. I'm going to really think about it for a minute. I know you guys are thinking, oh God, you're an idiot. Okay, so, <laughs> um, anyway, toxins, like getting rid of toxins. That's what it was. Holy shit. Woo. Anyway, yeah. So I wanted to see, you know, I just wanted to get rid of toxins and, um, and things in my body for the first month and just see how I felt. And I'll tell you right now, I feel amazing. I feel like I can walk forever. I feel like I can stand forever and do things. So I know this is working for me. And I know this is like amazing. Um, so also, like I said, I have a pair of pants that I can't wear. My clothes are getting baggier. So that's awesome, right? I mean, we need to stop focusing on the stupid scale because it really doesn't measure stuff not the way it should and we all rely on it so much but I'm still inspired and I'm still gonna keep on going because I mean like I said I've done this before I know I lose weight in chunks so but it's just crazy to me that it, it's even an issue with me mentally even um but I will tell you this week and moving on the next 30 days, I plan on working out a whole lot more. I mean, I already worked out twice this week, which is Monday and Tuesday. And I plan on working out five, six days a week. So we'll see if that has any um, effects on it. And I do want to up my veggies. So I am going to try to up my veggies. And usually when I eat something, I add veggies to it. So it's not like I didn't eat any veggies, but I'm definitely going to add more veggies. Okay. Um, I try to think of anything else I wanted to tell you guys. It's just, hmm, hmm, it's a journey. And I think it's also a journey through not worrying about things that you shouldn't worry about. Life, there's so much to do out there. There's so much life. There's so much things to be happy about. Our weight just shouldn't be one of them. It just should be, you know, as long as you know you're eating healthy and you're being better, that's all that matters. And next month I get um, some blood work done. So I'm excited to see that, to see even how much different that is just for being on PD for, what, six weeks. So it'll be a good, good time. It'll be a good time. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too depressing. I hope you understand you really need to do other stuff. Just keep on going. 
no point in giving up or feeling crappy. You know what foods make you feel good. You know what foods that make you feel like crap. Choose to feel good. Choose to do good. Choose to be good. All right, talk to you later.